uh, we were just into Point Amora there, and uh, that's Fordo over here. And you go up the highway a bit further, there's Lance Lou, to give you a rough idea where it is too. And, uh, right here, it might just look like a pile of rocks, but this is actually the oldest burial mound in the New World. And uh, this site is over 7,500 years old. And uh, what's really amazing about this site is the oldest toggling harpoon head ever found was found on this site, 7,500 years. So, you know, I often tell people, you know, that. Uh, They've been hunting seals in Labrador for thousands of years, and the proof was was written under this mound here, over 7,500 years. So, and as you can tell, there's a big mound, right? And uh, it tells you on the plaque what was uh, actually found here. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure where uh, the harpoon is uh, stored to. Uh, it might be in uh, the rooms in St. John, somewhere like that, or it could be here in Labrador. But when I do see it, I'm going to make a little video of it, and that will be the oldest toggling harpoon ever made that was found. <laughs> yeah. This mound of rocks is the earliest known funeral monument in the New World and marks the burial place of an Indian child who died about 7,500 years ago. The Maritime Arcade people to whom the child belonged occupied this area between 9,000 and 3,500 years ago. The body was covered with a red orca wrapped in skins of birch bark and placed in a large pit 1.5 meters deep. Fires were lit on either side of the body and several spearheads of stone and bone placed beside the head. A walrus tusk, harpoon head, paint stones and a bone whistle were also placed with the boy.